Hey guys, um, what you're looking at here is my computer screen. Um, more specifically, you're looking into a Microsoft Word document. Um, this document, uh, in this document, I've organized what I want in my, um, my EDC bag when I can get one, uh, which I'm going to be using a Maxpedition Remora. Um, the Maxpedition, obviously, they're a great company. They make really high quality products. Um, you know, a thousand denier nylon. Uh, triple polyurethane coating, which makes them basically waterproof. Um, so yeah, this is the Remora. It's a, uh, well, I think it's the smallest uh, over-the-shoulder bag they make there. It's part of their Gear Slinger series. Um, yeah, you can see it's not very large. Uh, I believe it's nine inches tall, about. Um, but yeah, it's got Molly on the side. It's got a concealed carry pocket one main pocket right there one smaller pocket and then yeah there's the concealed carry pocket um there's the front pocket and then on the front of that front pocket there's another uh smaller pocket so uh i guess i'll just get started um here in the document like i've said i've organized it so uh on in the main pocket i'm going to have extra batteries um, for my main flashlight. Now, uh, for my batteries for flashlights and stuff, uh, for lithium batteries, basically all of them, I prefer this brand here, Viridian Tactical Energy. Um, they are very, very high quality from what I've seen, and yet they maintain a very low price point. This is a three pack of CR123s for 4 dollars at OpticsPlanet.com. And I like Optics Planet because they have great prices, high quality stuff, um, but they, like I said, they have really good prices, plus they have free shipping on basically everything. Um, and they always have sales and stuff, so yeah. I like these Viridian Tacticals. Um, I would have those not only in my light, but also extras in my bag. And then, uh, if I'm carrying this bag, I'm going to have a knife in my pocket on me, as well as a small flashlight on me. Um, and that would be this uh four sevens mini MLR two. Takes one CR two battery, um <clears throat> and it puts out 180 lumens on turbo, which is insane brightness for one CR two battery. So uh yeah, and that of course I would have Viridian Tactical CR two batteries. These ones are four ninety nine for a three pack also, so it's a great price. My main light will be the Nightcore MT one C. This takes a single um, CR123A lithium battery, and I would have that in some kind of holster attached via Molly to the side of the bag. Uh, I, had a, I would have it weaved in to be attached on the side. Uh, this is a great light, waterproof to IPX8, uh, and this is the best part of it right there. You can twist and tighten your head to automatically go to turbo mode. Or, you can twist and loosen the head slightly to automatically go to a mode that you set. Uh, I have mine set for, um, sorry, not turbo, strobe. Um, because I can use that to, you know, disorient if I'm getting attacked or mugged something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's a really great light, you can see. It's rated to IPX8. Um, and yeah, it's uh, super durable. So, it's a great light. I really like it. I actually just got it, and uh, I'll, have a I'll have a review of it, excuse me, uh, sometime this week. So, look forward to that. Um, so, yeah, that would be attached via Molly to the side of the bag. Um, yeah, and then, like I said, I'd have extra batteries for that and my pocket light. Then, um, there it is. Down, this is the main compartment. You can see they have elastic webbing and slip pockets everywhere, velcro and stuff, uh, or loop fields, and it's very well organized. So down in the bottom there, I would probably have, I'm thinking 100 feet would fit nicely, of paracord, uh, 550 cord. I would probably use the uh, safety orange or international orange, whatever they call it, uh, just so I could see it easier, I don't know. Um, I'd also have some plastic uh, knives and forks and spoons and stuff, just one set probably, not even necessary, but... It doesn't hurt and it fits nicely. I probably have uh, one or two um, MRE peanut butter packets, the little the accessory uh, peanut butter packs 
uh, because that's a lot of protein, it's a good snack, and uh, it helps to have food in there. Plus, they will never go bad. Um, yeah, then I would have some Gorilla Tape wrapped around a card, and, yep, uh, one little of the packs of MRE toilet paper, because, uh, you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. So, uh, that would be a useful item to have in there. Um, so yeah, then, uh, farther down also in the main pocket, it really isn't necessary, but I would have a fire kit, which would consist of some trioxane. And uh, trioxane is what the military used to use as a cooking fuel. Uh, they no longer do, since we have MR MREs now, excuse me, but uh, they used to. And it's a great fire starter, because it burns when wet, basically. Um, and it really is hard to put out. Um, so it's a great fire starter. It takes a spark easily and burns nice and hot and long. And huge shout-out to Nut and Fancy for turning me on to trioxane tablets for fire starting, because they work really good, and he shows that in a lot of his videos. So, uh, I would have that paired with a Fire Steel. I really like these Going Gear brand, um, Mish Metal rods. They really throw big globs of, uh, sparks and molten metal, um, when you strike them. So, yeah, I'd have a lighter trioxane, that ferro rod, the Mish Metal, and also probably a cheap little wire saw. Not really necessary, of course. It's not necessary to have a fire kit in here at all, but, um, you know, why not? Barely takes up any room. So, um, yeah, then in the small slip pocket in the front, which, let me find it, is right, one second, right there. I'm talking about this one right there, the small zippered flat one on the front. So it's pretty flat, so I would want smaller items in there, um, or at least items that would lie flat. So I would have the Spyderco Grasshopper. Uh, which you can see it's a great price, 1280 on Cheaper Than Dirt for uh, this knife. And it's really good. It's, uh, it's a cheap little knife, but it's great to keep. I like to keep it in all of my medical kits because it's a great knife for a medical kit. Since it's only 1.4 ounces, it's 5.03 uh, inches overall and uh, closed 2.75 inches with a, with, excuse me, with a 2.31 inch blade. So it's a really good medical kit knife because it has a very fine tip uh, for doing work. Um, also, I would have in that front pocket these, uh, County Com, I don't know why this is here, the, uh, County Com tweezers. They're really good. They're, uh, government issue stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's really useful to have. Um, then, I would have a small medical kit, not even a point one, probably, I'm, I'm sorry, not even a, uh, level one. Probably like a .25, if that. Just basic little boo-boo kit. Okay, in the middle pocket, um, this one right there. Um, I would have uh, a County Com um, micro widgie, uh, sorry, not micro, uh, pocket widgie bar, which is a really tiny um, pry bar. Uh, you'd see it here, some, some people wrap them paracord handles. These things are great. They're really basically indestructible. There's one next to a Sharpie. And it would fit nicely in that pocket. Um, so, yeah, they're very useful. Also, I would keep, um, yeah, this one just happens to be a Maxpedition brand with their logo on it. But this is a right in the rain pad um, notebook. They are basically, they're waterproof uh, notebook papers. Um, they're basically impervious to the elements. So that's really good to keep for taking down notes and stuff. Um... With that, of course, uh, you need something to write on it with. I would keep a, um, again, this one's from Expedition, um, the All-Weather Bullet Pen by Fisher Space Pen. And the Fisher Space Pen inserts are great. Um, they have, I believe it's nitrogen pressurized in the cartridge. Um, so they can write upside down, obviously, in outer space with no gravity or pressure. Um, you know, through water, grease, a lot of stuff. So... That's really great. You write in all environments. And I would also keep a Sharpie in there with that. Um, yeah, I would keep some aluminum foil uh, in there just, you know, to have. Uh, it's useful. And um, these County Com, County Com's not the manufacturer, but these micro towels. You just put some water on them. They expand up and become a nice, uh, like that, like a cheesecloth material. You can also soak them in alcohol and uh, use them to start fires. 
Um, and I'm out of time, so see you in part two.